You want to know why the common house cat was crucial to survival back in the 1800s? Watch the video and find out. This episode of Rob Christie Hack Across America, we continue with our mission, try to find something worth doing in every state. This week, we're finishing up our time in Colorado and headed down to Ben's Old Fort National Historical Site. Located in between Highway 60 and Highway 194, outside of La Junta, Ben's Old Fort is a perfect stop for anybody who's into Old West history. We are at our last stop here in Colorado and this is Ben's Old Fort National Historical Site. Now, Ben's Old Fort is ran by the National Park Service, so your American the Beautiful Pass will work. Otherwise, it is $10 per person, but it's definitely worth that if you don't have your pass. This place did remind me a little bit of Fort Pickens down in Pensacola, Florida, which is also ran by the National Park Service. I'll leave a link to that video up top. Now, Ben's Old Fort is wheelchair accessible for the most part, at least on the lower levels, and they are dog friendly as long as they remain on a leash. And you know when people say that a place is like stepping back in time? Well, that's true here. When you walk through that corridor, it was like you were transported back to the Wild West. And I don't know who James was waving at, but there was absolutely nobody in the room. Now the trading post was originally built by brothers William and Charles Bent to do trading with the Cheyenne and Arapaho Indians. It stayed in operation until 1849 when a cholera epidemic swept through the valley and killed off half the people. The place was eventually burned and blown up. Built back in 1840, Bent's Old Fort, at the time, was the largest building structure on American soil and was conveniently located on the Arkansas River in between Missouri and Mexico, just east of the Colorado Rockies. And it was reconstructed by the National Park Service back in the 1960s. <laughs> yeah, get in the pot. Come on. Get in the pot, buddy. Come on, you can do it. We got some goats. Yeah. What you doing? Hey, hey you nice. Oh, look at you. You all right? Hmm? There was plenty of photo opportunities here at Ben Sold Fort, and the employees walked around in time period attire. For the most part, it's just a bunch of rooms here done up to look like old stores from the 1800s. It does get repetitious, but it is fun just to walk around and see what they got inside. So if you're new to this channel and you're not quite a fan yet, consider
consider subscribing. We got plenty of great videos in over 20 states. If you are a fan, please let us know by writing keep on hiking in the comments. And as always, stick around till the end of the video. See where we go next week. It just might be a place you've been wanting to go yourself. Sucks. Oh, that'd been neat. Unfortunately, you do not get to go across the bridge. It's a cool little overlook, but oh well. Is this a pool table? That's a pool table. Damn, that is a big pool that table. That is a big pool table. <laughs> yeah. That is the biggest pool table I've seen. That's why. This one might actually be a legit reason to close down. And to answer the question at the beginning of the video, cats kept the mice out of the grain in the wheat, which kept it from being contaminated. So cats were considered to be worth their weight in gold. Yeah, there's a bunch of peacocks out here, Christy. You're fine, you're fine. And in case you were wondering if they ever made any movies here, it was used for the 1978 TV show, The Centennials. Ben's Fort National Historical Site and our last stop here in Colorado. In the next episode of Rob Christie Hike Across America, we head back home to Missouri. But first, we stop in at Kansas and go to Dodge City and check out an Old West Museum. So if you found yourself liking this video and you want to see more, please like, share, subscribe. There's plenty on the channel, more on the way. Till next time, keep on hiking.